Broadcast booth, amazing things happening here. 8.47 to go in the third. Giants 7, Seahawks 3. Justin Pugh was not in at right tackle that last series. They're stretching him out on the sideline. If we have any updates, Howard Cross will let us know. As they continue to work on Justin Pugh's back, that doesn't help the cause. Manning back to throw. Lord Jesus Christ, please not let Justin be hurt and please let him be okay because I know how back injuries hurt and he's such a wonderful guy, you know that, Jesus. So please help him not have a serious injury. Thank you, our Lord, for listening to my prayers. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, amen. There he is, what's up, Bill? What are you doing? You wanna come over in a little bit? Pick up some food? Yeah, sure, why not? You got nothing going on today? No, nothing at all. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. I had seen him every day, and I, and I saw him out in the stoop, and I always just knew him as like the guy, kind of like the neighborhood watch. He's always out there. He's always <clears throat> saying hello, always nice. I, I didn't know who it was. I said, you know, that guy, you know, what is a guy doing here with that kind of car, you know? Now, I just heard that a giant player moved in here, and everybody had, from Eli to the coach, they, everybody was giving you a different name. Between us, I was about to lose my apartment. I was like four months behind in my rent. How I got that way, I really don't know, but I did. So I wrote Justin a letter. Justin. Please get in touch with me. I have a very serious problem. Thank you, Bill. Apartment number one next to your house. I left that note on his gate, and I thought maybe the wind would blow it away or something like that. His handwriting isn't very good, I'll no. tell you that much. <laughs> but it... At first he said he thought it was a neighbor complaining about the noise and stuff. I guess it was kind of crazy. Like this guy left a note on my back gate, and then like literally within like an hour, I <laughs> I was writing him a check to pay to pay his rent. It was something where I knew I could help. It wasn't gonna hurt me and set me back. And I was able to help someone stay in their home that he's been in for 30 years. And I feel like it's just a no-brainer. That's like something that you don't even think about twice. I talked to his landlord about helping him get his his social security checks and, and making sure that he gets his rent paid paid on time. And then. I always get on his his son about trying to come over and help him and see him a little bit more. I didn't even know this guy at the time, but he came to my aid and my assistance. Yeah. Without him, I'd probably be homeless now. Come on in. Just my little bedroom there, we put lights on. Here's my living room, my dining room. Here's my favorite chair here, the lounge chair. I just sometimes I fall asleep in that. It's a nice little place just for yeah. me, you know? Great. Not that like Justin's, but I'm very happy with this, you know? You wanna watch Old School? I mean, anything. So this is the movie that, that we're based off of in this house. That's you right there, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That must be blue. So he moves out and he moves into this college fraternity house. Huh. And starts like a fraternity, kind oh. of. He's legit. He's legit. <laughs> <laughs> See? He, don't worry, he's legit. Yeah. So he just, got, he just got a smartphone, so now he's got all these apps and stuff now. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing with them. Yeah, see, I still got this, this P, PFO, but now YouTube is calling. I don't bother with that. YouTube is calling him. <laughs> I don't bother that. Oh, it's here already. Huh. It's waiting for you. Yeah, look at this. Come in tight as you can, and then once it closes, you can back out. That door's gonna close behind you, watch out. Okay. Yeah. I had one best friend my whole life. I had another friend that I grew up with, and Justin's just as close to me as anybody in my life has been. I like being involved. You blowing up. His Tinder, his Tinder's yeah. going off <laughs> right now. The stoop, he can't leave the stoop for too long <laughs> because then the people in the neighborhood are gonna start wondering and then everyone's gonna start coming around so he's yeah. gotta be out there protecting. 
my favorite spot right here. I know who belongs in the neighborhood and who don't belong. They know you ain't home, they try to get in your house and stuff, you know? But they know if I'm watching, they better go some other place. I come home one day and I, I see I see on camera that, you know, there's a guy stealing packages off my porch and I call Bill, I'm like, which one of your friends is up on the porch stealing stuff from us? I'm like, you've been here forever. You know everybody, who is this? Me and him went walking down the street, knocking on doors, asking people if they, if they had seen anything, and posted the video on social media, and ended up catching the guy. He was, we, he was the first one on the, on the trail, so it was, uh, it was cool. Uh, to my boy Billy, Justin Pugh, number 67. My wife's ashes are in this, this urn right here. I tell, I tell all the time I've met a very nice young gentleman that's helping me out a lot. And uh, you will be very proud of him because he's such a good, good guy. I know I don't like to be alone, so I know some days when he's texting me or I see him, I know he doesn't like to be alone either. So we kind of can help each other out in that space, and that's something that uh, it's it's a special it's a special thing that we have. Yeah, that sounds good. Huh? Well, give me just maybe two slices of pie. Okay, so yeah, that's easiest. Yeah, that's easiest. Yeah. Oh, this is some good pizza. This place is called Tony Bologna's. It's good. Yeah. If you see him walking, he's not the most limber, athletic guy. And he's like, Justin, is there anything I can do to help you? I'm like, no, Bill, there's nothing that you can do. And then one night, I missed the trash, and he's like, I took your trash out for you. He's like, I can do it if you're ever not here. So he's like, how about I just, on Sundays, I'll take your trash out for you. I already do it for at his building. He like kind of handles all of it. And I was like, that's perfect. So I'm like, hey, that'll be your job. I pay him because yeah. Yeah, that's his best job that. right now. I told <laughs> him that. Yeah, I said, that's my job. So he gets mad when yeah. anyone else takes the trash out. If I yeah. come and try to take something out, he's like, no, 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 let me do yeah. it. I'm Don't lift that. Don't, that's the heavy one. Justin. I'll <laughs> be all right. My personal dream before the good Lord takes me up there is for him to, whether he wins or not, just to see him in a Super Bowl. That would be my lifelong dream, just to see him in the Super Bowl. I was gonna write a letter to the owner of the Giants and tell him if I was the owner, I would be so proud to have a gentleman like him on my front line. And such a gentleman, I, I, I can't express, I can't express with my heart. I can't say, sometimes I cry when I go in my room of how good he was to me, actually. You could have, be a billionaire, have all the money in the world. There's two things you can't buy. That's health and love. You can buy sex, but you can't buy love. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He'll school you up. He'll school you up. <laughs> if, it, if, if nothing more than you get from this video is just, if you see someone that looks like they're not having a great day, just go say hello. Even if it's just you holding the door for somebody, if we can just be nicer as just like a group of people in this country, I think it can, that, that'll just start to make waves and start to ripple out and create a bigger effect.